What's up YouTube? We have another helicopter here and this is going to be a scale uh, 700 size uh, Black Hawk. It's made by Robin. Um, this is actually my second kit. Fortunately my original one, my first one, uh, crashed uh, and that was because of a mechanical failure. Um, which makes me feel a little better because if I dump thumb something like this um, I mean, it's just not something you fly crazy, and it's a, it's kind of a very, something you'd fly on a on a Sunday or on a week weekend, and just kind of cruise around. And anyways, I, I flew it. My uh, first one, I flew it outside, and I was as I was hovering on its fifth flight. Uh, what I suspect happened was the, one of the rod, uh, uh, ball link rod ends snapped off the swash and you know helicopter came down because i couldn't find any other mechanical fa failures present other than that and yeah so i lost the entire fuselage on that kit um i didn't have any of the accessories accessories on my tail extension survived so i guess i have a spare now for this one and all my accessories I still have them in their packages, so I have uh, spare accessories for this one as well. And as far as my uh, first kit, you know, I felt really bad because that's something, you know, my wife had uh, purchased for me as a gift, and I just couldn't, uh, you know, help not getting another one. I just had to have it. This is something I really want to have in my fleet, uh, just because it's you know a scale helicopter is just so much different from a. Uh, uh, your, your normal 3D uh, sport or 3D uh, helis. It's a different feel. It's a different, you know, it's a different aspect of the hobby. You actually get, you know, you dedicate hours and time to these helicopters. Not that you wouldn't to a 3D helicopter, but this is more, you know, a piece of art. It's just, it's, it's the best of its, you know, of its class. And to have something like this with it, as, with a, iconic you know scale version of the original this is something really nice to have even though i wouldn't fly this anymore or something like that i mean i i it's just a very nice piece to have um you know the people at robin they do a outstanding job you know building these and and uh you know especially you know kind of getting this out to the people and with the quality control that they have, it's, I, I'd say they're made pretty well. I don't think, you know, most companies would get pretty close to this. It's just because there's not a high demand for it. And, you know, as far as that goes, it, it, they're doing, a, you know, like I said, an outstanding job. And, uh, yeah, so this is actually my room where I keep all my helicopters. And it's my hobby room. And there I have my... My awesome 700, uh, Align 700 DFCE. It has all spectrum uh, electronics, also the fly barless unit, um, torque servos. Uh, next to it, I have my 550, my 480 uh, Fusion 480 stretched to a 550. Also has all the uh, spectrum stuff. I got another project over here. It's gonna be my Tron 7.0. It's going to be one of my uh, newer 3D helis without boom supports uh, in the 700 class. And here I have my my first beginner helis where, where I first jumped into the hobby. And uh, that's going to be my Wakira uh, V450 V03 and uh, two, uh, one Super CP, one Mini CP, one Genius CP. They both fly fine. Fully upgraded. Uh, here I have the remotes, the transmitters. Got my iX12. Uh, here we have the Infusion 180. Kind of changed up the, the paint scheme on that one. Blade 130, 150s, 330s, 270. Um, Fusion 180. And uh, got another Fusion 180 here. I have a second 
uh, Fusion 480 kit and uh, I have two Fusion two, two Fusion 360s one's out of the box, one's in the box and one is a 180 Fusion the 330S, Nano S3 Real Flight and ESCs and a bunch of ESCs and you know chargers and all this stuff that you know all this good stuff you know that you you'd, you'd expect from the hobby so very fortunate to have this stuff and there over there you have some I do have some RC cards I'll probably review them I have a custom painted UDR We've got the uh, Axial SCX124 the I believe this is the forget that brand uh, hold on RGT no uh, what's that brand not sure but I'm sure most of you guys have seen this and it is a custom Revel Revel a body on it I have my old low C1 S, uh, CX124 and yeah so anyways back to the uh, Black Hawk oh yeah and there's my Fusion uh, 360 the one that's my daily flyer so getting uh, coming closer to the the heli we have you know a very detailed uh, front end especially the cockpit you know you do have operating doors and hinges these hinges kind of feel a little flimsy a little scary at times it feels like if uh, maybe the slightest uh, swing of your hand and you come at a bad angle you might just rip them out there's the uh, cockpit all that stuff illuminates and it looks pretty scale when you uh, everything's plugged in and I like to set this up where there's a separate battery for this just to eliminate the uh, since I don't run a I don't ever run a BEC uh, external PEC um, that's just my choice I haven't had an, an issue with that I always have ESCs that already have an internal BEC and I go with that I prefer to keep my setups light and this is going to have a Spectrum uh, 120 amp 12S ESC. It does run on 12S. And my motor is going to be so right beneath the doghouse. Uh, you also have your nice details here. Your your wire cutters and your antennas and and whatnot. This is magnet. It's held by it's held in by uh, by magnets. Pretty st strong uh, neodymium neodymium uh, magnets. I'm using an E flight. 700 uh 500 kV motor I love this motor because it stays cool uh, it doesn't really draw a lot of uh you know amps and uh it's very good for a 120 amp a 120 amp ESC is perfect for this it would never you'd probably never overheat it um and it's got a pretty good amount of power as far as the kit goes and the gearing and the motor with the pinion that it has uh stock from the kit you know it gets you up to um, at 100% uh, output and your throttle curve you'll get a, a, a about maximum a 1280 rpm which is more than enough for this or perfect for this and you could get more if you change the pinion but you, you shouldn't I mean this is a four bladed helicopter and it's it doesn't really need all that head speed you're not going to be doing TikToks or anything like that um there's the ESC, my, my remote remote receiver, my serial receiver. Uh, with the 700 kit, you're, you're able to remove uh, another portion of the doghouse. So you have two pieces that come off so you can get more access to your the rest of the helicopter. And here are the servos, and I'm running Spectrum 6350 servos, my favorite. Uh, they are expensive, but you know what? When it comes to something like this, you kind of want to go with the best. I don't want to uh, risk anything. And I'm using Spectrum uh, servo horns. And this one's a little taller so that it can, so it, wouldn't, it won't get in the way of uh, the rest of the uh, horns so yeah this is actually the original pot and boom from the original kit uh, nothing happened to it 
I just rebuilt the top end. I was able to get spare parts uh, in a very decent, uh, timely manner uh, from directly from ZY Hobby. You can find them on eBay. I message them through WhatsApp, and you can purchase anything you need from Robin. As far as spare parts and kits, um, at a cheaper price, and um, you'll if you you're getting spare parts, you'll get your parts very fairly quick. I I received my parts uh, within a week and two days from China. I mean you can't beat that. They shipped it over with UPS, and that was you know that was a great deal. And I got a whole you know a buttload of parts for for the top end. I can rebuild this three times at least. I mean, granted, you crash this once and you're going to end up with nothing. So, yeah, I just ordered a few parts for wear. And, you know, as time goes by and more flights, naturally things wear and you want to have some spares. You know, it's kind of good to get a, a decent uh, stockpile. You have uh, actual operating doors. They don't open all the way. They're pretty easy to convert. I mean, to modify, to open all the way. All you have to do is kind of make that little slit a little longer um, on this end, so you can slide back uh, inch, inch or two, a couple inches more, which is what I did on my original kit. But I can't demonstrate that now because it's broken. Now, what I have noticed about this kit, I did have the V version two version of of the uh, Black Hawk that they offer, but this one seems to be lined. With fiberglass or carbon fiber, not sure. Uh, inside of the kit, and that's something that's you know good to see, because the other one under some flexing, I could hear the body, the whole fuse, uh, kind of make cracking noises and just developing fractures here and there. Um, yep, this was an easy, easy kit to put together. You know, it's I'm very surprised how easy these things are. And you know, at first it was an intimidating. You know, kit uh, just because I've never ever built a uh, scale helicopter. This one was a breeze. You know, it's very fun to build. It's definitely more fun than building a 3D helicopter. Uh, it's especially because you guys end up with the 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 pleasure and the reward of having a iconic helicopter in your house in a, in a scale form, and it's just it's just damn beautiful and. Here's the main head, I mean the tail head. You know, it's all aluminum, all you know, all steel, aluminum, and all metals, aluminum, and carbon fiber, and fiberglass uh, kit. You know, they went with very nice materials. Good materials, but like I said, it doesn't matter. If you crash this, you know, you can kiss it goodbye. And it's definitely not something you want to buy twice. I had to because I just couldn't, you know, accept that I didn't get to fly it the way I wanted to. So I, I'm going to try it one more time and I'm sure things will go well this time. I should have uh, assembled a fixture to fly my pot and bloom, boom outside of the fuse. You know, it's I just got lazy and, you know, laziness doesn't get you anywhere, guys. This was a learning experience for me. Never going to do that again. You know, I knew what I was, what I had coming. But you just got to be patient. This is why, you know, you have to be very uh, disciplined when doing something like this. Because it can become dangerous very quick and can end your day pretty bad. You know, shit can go south pretty damn quick. I'm gonna I'm gonna connect the battery right now so you guys can see all the light, you know, operating, all the lighting. But yeah, it's a really nice kit, and uh, I recommend any of you guys who are interested in scale and willing to spend the money. Uh, this kit's uh, currently two thousand seventy dollars at from Motion RC, and uh, this is my second kit, so. There goes that.
Hey, and I have a question for any of you guys who are really uh into scale. I've I've kept searching online for this exhaust. Uh, this is the exhaust they provide in the kit. That's the way I see it in their images in the manual. Um, I haven't seen a real Black Hawk uh uh in uh in person or in images on Google have a exhaust with like a deflector, which gets like the I would assume the exhaust uh gases. That way it doesn't make a large mess and uh, staining the fuse on the real deal. Um, yeah, so if, if this is a, an actual uh, design they use for the real one, uh, let me know, please, so that I can correct this and just make it the way they do. It just looks like a pipe coming out of slant angle at a 45 degree. And I, I prefer that. I prefer it to stay true to scale as much as possible. Um, even though this kit, you know, there's a few things that aren't anywhere near the original one but just looking at it from far away or you know just not really paying attention to many details i mean you you, you wouldn't have to tell the difference you, you're able to tell it's a black hawk and that's what matters this helicopter you guys is so sweet yeah Okay, and there you have all my kits, all my helis again, and, and yeah, this is my uh, hobby room, you got my line, my 550, all the fusion lineup helicopters from Horizon Hobby and Blade, some Walkeras again, and the entire, you know, this is all you need guys, so you guys can, uh, learn and progress i just can't all you need is a uh, i'd say if, if you get something like for any of you guys want to learn how to fly these things i honestly say that um <clears throat> because i guess this video is not just for people who know and been in the hobby um i'm sure you guys know what you guys want to do and honestly if you guys want to come to something like this one day and pick up a a nice kit like this and uh start getting into scale start off here uh, fusion 360 would be nice these things are you know they're durable um only con is uh servos if you tap it on the ground or somehow it tips over slightly and taps it, they kind of strip pretty easily you can always get your own you know your own uh personal uh, servos out there there's different brands and they're very good servos these servos are good i mean if you're going to be crashing and learning get a better servo there's nothing wrong with this helicopter you know it's one of my favorite ones is my daily this one's actually the fusion uh 360 smart and yeah i'd say that's probably one of the best uh ways to start and jump into it because the bigger the helicopter the more stable and the easier it is to fly there's just more presence in the air everything just seems more predictable because everything looks like it's slower because it's a bigger object in the air um yeah so there you have it let me put the uh doghouse and the pieces for the electronics to be nicely tucked away excuse my mess i've been building helicopters all week and you know, there's never an end to this stuff. Now here's your head. All aluminum. Pretty nice head. Uh, these parts are all. It, uh, it's on a, tw a 12 millimeter a main shaft, and actually fits my Align and my Tron and and whatnot. But not that I'm gonna put one of these on there because I wouldn't really trust this for 3D. So, really nice kit, guys. Here's the lighting. Let's hope for the uh, exposure to adjust. But here's the lighting, and uh, you get all these. You know, the camera doesn't really do any justice. It looks so much more realistic in person. You got a, your lower light, your 
you tell. Let me turn some of the. Let me lower the, the room so I dim the light in here. There, there you have it, guys, because uh, i got to go to sleep now and uh, take care of the kids. Bye-bye.